in this video I'm going to be talking about acids and bases and the main sort of this de definition which I'm going to base this sort of topic around is 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 the brownsted lowry definition of a acid and a base there's two main definitions there's the lewis there's the lewis um theory of of the of definition of acids and bases and there's the brownsted lowry theory the lewis theory focuses on electron pair donation and acceptance whereas the brownsted lowry theory focuses on proton donation and acceptance so in this video i'm going to be focusing on pro proton donation and acceptance an acid can basically be defined as a proton donor a proton donor and the reason for this is because when you when you mix an acid with water for example what it does is it releases protons so we say that this is the uh, donation of protons so we call acids a proton donor so an example of this is HCl HCl reacting with water so when when HCl is added to water and I won't put water in the actual equation here I'll put it on the on the on top of the arrow when it reacts with water and and HCl is usually gas at room temperature when it reacts with water it dissociates let me let me it it, it dissociates and forms and forms H plus ions so protons and this is the proton that's basically been donated or released which is going to be aqueous now since it's in that it's in water and it's going to form a Cl minus ion which is going to be aqueous now the reason why it dissociates this particular thing this particular um, molecule HCl dissociates is if you take a look at the molecule in terms of the distance of the shared electrons between the two two atoms hydrogen has the electrons much more further away than chlorine does so these are these are the shared pair of electrons the, the electrons are much much closer to chlorine than hydrogen and I'm gonna make a video about electronegativity to explain why and they're much closer to chlorine and further away from hydrogen and this means that hydrogen is slightly slightly this means slightly slightly positive and chlorine is slightly negative and so when they mix in with the h2o and if you were to take a look at h2o molecule oh well h2o one of the things you notice is is that it's often shown that the the oxygen is slightly negative and the hydrogen is slightly positive both of them so what happens is when you put this in water since this is slightly negative this is attracted to the hydrogens in the molecule whereas that this hydrogen here is, is attracted to the oxygens since the oxygens are slightly negative and this attraction between um, the hydrogens in the HCl and um, to the oxygens I'll explain something which happens due to this attraction but anyway so this is basically what happens in in the um the reaction in in the in the reaction between the the HCl and water when it reacts it, it form it dissociates and releases the proton and this proton doesn't actually remain in solution what it does is it it, it comes it sort of it sort of comes out of solution and forms uh, an ion with um with water so what happens is H plus, which is the this H plus, it will react with a water molecule, H two O, and it will form something known as a a hydroxonium ion. Hydroxonium ion. And hydroxonium ions are represented by the symbol H or H three O plus hydroxonium ion and this is aqueous it's being liquid and this being aqueous so this comes out of solution and it forms the h3o plus ion with the h2o and 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 basically bases on the other hand for bases bases 
what bases do is the opposite of 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 what protons do so what proton what what bases do is they they don't they accept they accept protons they accept protons so they can be described as being proton acceptors basically and the way they do this yeah, um the the, the 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 lewis the lewis theory sort of explains why they do this but the reason they do this is often is that bases bases tend to have lone pairs of electrons and if you've seen a, a h plus ion h plus ion it tends to look something like like this so you've got the hydrogen you've got the proton basically the hydrogen the proton in the middle and there's no electrons and so but this 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 shell would be full if it had two two protons and the base provides this proton and so they share it and they form a bond an example of 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 of, of a base accepting a proton would be um, ammonia ammonia accepts protons it acts as a base nh3 reacts with a proton and it forms an ammonium ion which is represented by the symbol NH4 plus it's aqueous this is aqueous and this is aqueous and how this happens is that the if I was to draw a molecule of this this NH3 NHH it looks something like this and the nitrogen has two a pair of electrons here which is aren't bonded to anything and the hydrogen ion accepts this electron pair so this is basically right now accepting the proton the proton is accepting the electron pair the molecule is accepting the proton and then that forms the ammonium ion which would look like this and this is often represented with with an arrow like this because both of the both of the um actually i think this arrow isn't filled in both of the electrons which are shared in this bond here are donated by the nitrogen atom another common base is hydroxide ions OH minus and OH minus ions accept protons by forming water so they react with the H plus and they form H2O and this is another example of a base so bases are, 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 are the opposite of acids and they, 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 they if they if you add these to water they accept protons and that's 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 basically it